outside Hamden. It is Rangers versus Kiev. It's actually quite a nice night. I've found some people to do some predictions. What's your name? Lucy. Lucy? Jake. Jake. OK. What did you use? Uh, 10. 10? 15. 15. Right, OK. Scoreline tonight, Lucy. What do you think? 2-1. Mm, 2-1 Rangers? Yeah. 2-0 uh, Rangers. OK. First goal scorer? Uh, Dessers. Dessers? Cerny. Journey. Okay, let's hope so. We'll take a Rangers win. Okay, got some more volunteers for some score predictions. We're going to just introduce ourselves first. Um, what's your name? Stephen Echo. Stephen Echo, and yourself? Ollie and Echo. Ollie, right, Ollie and Stevie. Good name. Perfect name. <laughs> uh, what age are you, young man? 2 1 Rangers. Oh, hold on. What age are you? Oh, uh, 11. 11. Yourself? Older than 11. Perfect. Oh, Aye, great. Okay. So you're going 2 1 Rangers? Right, okay, perfect. Yourself? 2 0 Rangers. 2 0 Rangers. First goal scorer? Sorry, this is. Tav. Tav. Okay, favourite Rangers player currently? Currently, Dijon Sterling. Favourite Rangers player all time? All time? Mm. Oh, Between Coist and Gaza. Maybe Gaza. Oh, currently? currently. Uh, I really like Dijon Sterling a lot. I think you, you could get us some serious money later on. Family favourite. We'll settle for that. Let's hope that's correct. Let's hope so. We're outside. More predictions. So, what's your name? Florence. Florence, what age are you? 13. 13. Okay, and what about you, young man? I'm Johnny and I'm 11. Perfect. Bob? I'm Bob and I'm 21. Perfect. Definitely older than 11. That's great. Okay, score predictions Rangers versus KF tonight. Huge night for the club. What do you think the score will be? 2 1 Rangers. First goal score? Danilo. Interesting, because he might, yeah, well, he yeah, might, he might be, be able to a sub. So, yeah. Johnny, yourself? 2 1 Rangers, Tavernier, penalty, first goal. We're due a penalty. We're due a penalty. I think 2 0, and I think it's 2 2 score. From a corner, I'm assuming. We're due one of them, those as well, aren't we? It'll have to happen one day. Yeah, absolutely, yes. Hi, I'm outside Hamden Park watching the Rangers game and um, interviewing these people. What's your name? Tyrone. Callum. Uh, what, should, what age are you? 15. What age are you? <laughs> 55, what a great <laughs> age to be, eh? Uh, what's your score prediction? 2-0 Rangers. 3-1 Rangers. Uh, hi, uh, I'm Murray. What's your name? Uh, Jojo. What's your age? 12. Uh, what do you think the score is going to be today? 2-1 Rangers. Who do you think is going to score for? Desers. Who's your favourite player? Hello everyone and welcome to Hamden Park, it's Rangers vs Dynamo Kiev, the second leg of the Champions League qualifiers. My name's Stevie of course, I'm with Shona. Shona, how are you tonight? Yes, looking forward to it. Like as I said, I'm um, pretty confident about tonight actually, so yeah, all we need to do is just get that win. Just get that win and that's us. Yeah, sounds easy, doesn't it? So let's run through the team. Jack Bolton starts and goals, of course. James Tavernier, John Suter, Robin Proper and Red Van Yilmaz make up your back four. In the middle we have Connor Barron and Diamande. Next to him, just in front, Tom Lawrence, we expect to play in that 10. Maybe a wee bit slightly deeper European game. Two changes. Here they are. Ross McCausland is in for Vaslav Cherny. And Hefty is in the left-hand side for Scott Wright. Cyril Dessers leads the line. On the bench, we have Liam Kelly, Rabi Matondo, Vaslav Cherny, Kieran Dow, Redva, um, Dujon Sterling, Scott Wright, Ben Davis, Leon King, Robbie Fraser, Cole McKinnon, Bailey Rice and Danilo. So it's quite a bench as well. Shona, talk us through that team selection. Well, as you said, we've got the two changes, haven't we, on the left and the right wing. I think we expected, obviously, Yefti to come in. I think a lot of us wanted Cherny to start tonight. I think that's probably the one that we're looking at. Obviously, it doesn't look like uh, Balogun is going to be fit because, obviously, he's not even on the bench. So, look, obviously, Suter has to come in. I think Suter has to have a big game tonight. I think uh, from the weekend's performance and recent performances that he's had, he looks a wee bit nervous on the ball, especially balls over the top. So I'm looking for a big performance from Suter tonight. McCausland, oh, it's a wee bit of a surprise having McCausland there, Look, but I think McCausland does do well, what he does do well is tracking back, especially in European games, so maybe that's maybe what the manager's looking at, and then hopefully bringing on Cherney to make the difference in the second half, so yeah, apart from that, it's kind of like for like, I probably would have expected maybe Lawrence to come out and maybe have Diamandi playing further forward and maybe having Sterling in the midfield, but what do you think of that so far? Yeah, and with you, I would have thought maybe a few more changes, I'm surprised Tom Lawrence starts, I'm surprised that... Ross McCausland comes in as well, so they're the two big changes. But again, I think he's playing his hand for later on in the game. Maybe he expects this to be tight. You know, he's got a bench there, Matondo, Cherney, 
he's got Sterling to come on. There is Danilo if he if he's going to be used. So there is a few options, but it's a big one for Rangers. This is worth you know best part of five million pounds. It's worth a, a shot at Champions League qualification as well. So yeah, we'll bring you all the action. Shona, prediction time. How do you see this one going? Well, I'm going to stick with it. I said it was going to be two 0 to Rangers. So two 0 for me and. You know who my first goal scorer is going to be, it's pretty obvious now, isn't it? Serial Dessers, so... Um, but yeah, le- that'll be my score prediction, what about yours? I think it'll be 1-0 Rangers, and I think this will be dreadfully tight, and yeah, um, very nerve-wracking, so I'm going to go for James Tavernier to do it, so... We'll be back with all the updates, let's hope there's a few, let's hope it's not as nervous as I'm predicting, but good luck to Rangers, let's go and get the job done. Thirty minutes gone at Hamden. It's still Rangers nil, Dynamo nil. Just as Rangers come forward with Red Van swinging a cross in towards Tom Lawrence, it comes out. Diamande, defender has it. It's clear there was a half heart appeal for a penalty kick there. It's been a very tight game. Shona, talk us through this so far. Yeah, it's been a bit scrappy, I have to say, in the first kind of opening thirty minutes. There's been a bit of stop start. I think that is now. Is that Yefty that's just managed to get a yellow card for a tackle? So. I don't think there's really been too much in it. I think they've had an opportunity down there where they obviously managed to get by Tavernier and uh, to the back post, but they had a kind of half-hearted opportunity. We've had one with the FD that they crossed into the box where Desers has had the header on target, but I think mccausland has got into some nice positions, but it's just that final ball into the, the final third of the, the, the box. I think we had one opportunity there, but Lawrence slipped to the final third, so what do you think so far? It's much, much the same as you. It's a really tight game. First goal is going to be absolutely crucial. I think that's clear. Like you though, there's been a couple of good moments from Tav. I think going forward, crossing wise, but then he does get taken. Like nine minutes in, he gets taken down the line by the number 22. So that's that's been a one. Because he's got in a couple of positions, like you said. But I want to see us do what we're doing, which is kind of press them in because I think there's mistakes in them. But this is where it's problematic. When they get clear like they have done at the moment, feed it out to 22. He was a boy that took Tav in the first kind of 10 minutes. He's, he's trying to take him down the line. Again, he's past Tavernier, cross in. Well, that goes all the way through out for a throw. Yeah, so that was close. 20, number 22 and number 10 seem to be causing us problems, but I have to admit, it's been just kind of one of those games where there's not really much that's happened so far in the opening 31 minutes. So. Look, I hope to see that, if, as you said, I think the first goal is going to be crucial in this game, isn't it? Yeah, it's really tight so far at Hamden, it is Rangers now, KF now. Uh, 50 minutes going at Hamden, it is Rangers now, Dinamo KF now, Rangers down to 10 men. jeffy has been shown a second yellow card. I've got to be honest, this is an appalling decision, he's went up for a header. Shona, talk us through it. I really don't know what to say at this moment in time, I think it's an absolutely horrendous decision. I think we said at half time this referee or even the, the Kiev players have been trying to get Yefty sent off and it is the most ridiculous decision and because of it's a second yellow, VR can all look at it and it's honestly, this, this could, could be costly for us. Yeah, it certainly can be costly. I've got to wonder about the manager and now all this. It was, it was obvious all of us were saying get Hefty off at half time because of this. He's now wet. Rangers have got 10 men to play with 40 minutes against Kiev as they clip a ball through. Man's free out, out on the side. Ball's cut in. Rangers have scrambled it clear. Can Diamande get there ahead of the goalkeeper again? Another Kiev player down. Honestly, folks, this is horrendous by KM. You can hear the fans every time somebody goes near them, they're over. And honestly, it's an appalling it's referee. The referee's lost it. Or is he? Uh, he's lost it. Look at this. So now, now we're, we're down again. And 53 on the clock. It's certainly built up the atmosphere in here. Rangers are down to 10. It's going to take an almighty effort now. Still 0 0. 84 minutes on the clock. It's Rangers now KF 2. Two quick goals. Didn't even have a chance to talk through the first one. Uh, it's game over now. The referee has absolutely killed this match for an atrocious decision. Rangers are basically sat in and tried to fend it off and Dinamo have hit them twice. Oh, no, no, no. Butland with a header, which he's then got back to stop it being three. Shona, I think we just sum up this game as being 
written off as soon as GFT goes off the puck. Absolutely, I think the referees cost us this game, unfortunately. I think we were on top of the game at the time, but I mean, we've given two poor goals away. I think the one there across from Tavernier when he gets caught out, there was two on one, and then obviously the boy is able to get into the box and take that second goal quite easily. And then obviously the first one, Sterling doesn't get out to his man quick enough outside the box and he's able to have a shot that goes into the bottom corner so look it's really really difficult to turn up and say what well, what rangers could have done any better because i think after the, the sending off it really has been the referee that's cost us this game and uh, do you know what it's really really poor because i think obviously we had a really good opportunity today and um, yeah, i don't know what your thoughts are on it but it's not been great no it hasn't been um i would say clement really because I think at half time you're seeing GFD is looking like he's going to go off. Everybody can see it. And he's not being proactive and made that change. And then we do go down to 10 for Tom Warren to play 80 minutes. I think, again, you need to be proactive. Sterling needs to come on in the middle, not on in the left. Then Matondo does come on in the left. These are changes I think we're all calling for 20, 25 minutes before. So the question marks all over the place. Rangers haven't been good enough today. And I think the manager got the selection wrong at the start. We were all surprised by that. And then, you know, it's just it has kind of fallen apart on, on the on the referee's decision, which is a really poor one. It's 2-0. Rangers just swing in across. Has to shoot, come on! Yeah, yeah, Rangers have kind of tried to put some pressure in. A good ball in by Cherry, but goal he grabs it. This game's finished with folks at Will Lane with elimination from the Champions League qualifiers. Rangers will go into the Europa League group stage. This game was over in 50 minutes as soon as Jeff went off. It really was a really poor decision, but there's other questions that, that come from that. It's going to be full time here. It is going to be Rangers now, KF2. Four Lads Podcast is sponsored by Rhino Express, Clive Joinery, Athol Industrial Solutions Limited and CSD Air Conditioning along with Art of Gold. Thank you for listening or watching the podcast. We hope you enjoyed the show. <laughs>